So yesterday, um, the report went over to draft report went over to Congress uh, with an 18,000 person refugee cap. Uh, my agency, United States Citizenship Immigration Services, handles processing of both refugees and asylees, as well as crime victims who get U visas, trafficking victims who get T visas, VAWA, and so forth. So the hu whole humanitarian umbrella. And right now we have a uh, over 335,000 case backlog of, of affirmative asylum cases at USCIS. Uh, we are darn close to this year's ceiling of 30,000 on refugees. I want to say uh, we're going to come in somewhere between 29 and 30,000 there, so pretty close to that ceiling. Uh, America is still, as it has been for some time, the number one country in the world for aiding providing humanitarian aid all around the world. We provide more money, we resettle more humanitarian, uh, I'll call them victims, but uh, whether it's asylees or refugees or any of these other humanitarian visas with smaller numbers, America will re maintain that position going into the next year. I have every reason to expect that to continue, including with the 18,000 person cap. And I'm sure you all have seen at this point the cap is divided up differently than it has been in the past. Um, it's put into categories, not just geography, as maybe you've seen in the past. Uh, the, the, the one geographic focus is obviously an area of strategic interest to the United States, and that's the Northern Triangle countries that have an allocation of 1,500 of the refugees. 5,000 are allocated to religious persecution and associated amendments, 7,500 in a in, in what I'll call a traditional category, uh, kind of a catch-all category, uh, and then the other 4,000 as well. Sorry, I gotta run. Is there any chance